All right, I want to talk about a couple of things. It really doesn't have much to do with the Predator inverter generator. The uh, 8750 Max, 7000 running. Uh, what I want to talk about is the four-prong plug on here, the 240-volt plug. Um, I did a, like a 20-plus minute video. Covers everything soup to nuts, but I just wanted to cover just this here. Um, with this here, the where my finger is is the common, and this is the ground. Okay, so from common from here to here would measure 120 volts, and from here to here would measure 120 volts. And I hate to use the term out of phase, but um, it it is 180 degrees out of phase. That would give you 240 volts if you measure from here to here, because technically it's a single phase. But um, I don't know how else to describe it, but from here to here is 240 volts. Okay, so common, ground, leg one, leg two, X, Y, whatever you want to label, it doesn't matter. Um, you can get various attachments. Um, so I've got this attachment here. This would allow you to plug in, say, a 30 amp travel trailer. But when you plug this in, this is only going to use one leg on the generator. Okay, so this is 110 volts. So <clears throat> this is ground and then honestly I forget which is which but one of these is common the other one is the hot so but anyway if you were to meet it from here to here it'd be 120 volts okay so again this four prong would go into this generator here like so and it is only using one leg okay so this generator you will not in this configuration you will not get this full 7000 watts you only get 3500 watts in fact on this generator here at 29 amps it's gonna kick out um and when it kicks out it doesn't pop the breaker it actually shuts the inverter down when it shuts the inverter down it shuts off both legs okay so if you overload one leg both legs are going to kick out on you now another adapter this would go into it's called a TT30R, which is the receptacle. <clears throat> and this would convert it to a 15 amp receptacle. Now, just know that this 15 amps would only, you know, this would be protected at 29 amps on this generator, okay? So if you're going to run some stuff on here, just know that you will not have protection, okay? So you can very easily overload this, overheat the wires, cause a fire, okay? Absolutely. Uh, temporary use in this situation here. Okay, so we'll pull this aside. <clears throat> I built this box here. I got the idea from Gavin's Garage. Um, he's a user that I follow on YouTube, and he does a wonderful job going through uh, the generators, and he puts he puts them to work. This box here has two meters in it. Each meter monitors each leg individually okay so whether you want to call it x or y um I don't know if i label it doesn't matter really but uh, when these turn on this is going to give me voltage it's going to give me uh, amperage that's being used um and it's going to convert that to watts it's going to give me a power factor reading and what's nice with these is it's going to give me a running total okay so by building a box like this it's not really something that i would use all the time because this is not weatherproof and if i had a power outage and i was to use this generator i don't think i'm going to run this um in line chances are it'd be during a storm it'd be raining um but this is something that i built so I can kind of set up my home on a nice day and turn different devices on in the house and see where I'm at, what I can actually run with this, okay? And again, keep in mind that each leg is going on this generator, it's only gonna give you 29 amps, okay? And that includes the Champion version of this as well. Um, the Champion makes a open frame um, and the ratings are, are exactly the same. Um, Predator does make an enclosed version of this generator, and the amperage is slightly higher. You'll get the full 30 amps per leg. This one, again, is 29 amps per leg, okay? So as you start seeing, like, 32 to 3,500 watts, I uh, wouldn't even su surprise as you hit 3,500 watts, it doesn't cut out on you. But I, uh, I did a test with this the other day. A couple air conditioners upstairs. I actually have four of them. I don't know if they're running at the same time. And I had uh, uh, 
uh, 12,000 BTU downstairs running in the window. And I had one of the legs was up to 3,200 watts. And then the other leg was uh, around 1,000 watts, okay? And then something else kicked on on this leg here, boom, and popped it out. Um, so this, like I said, this is a good tool, good thing to, to make. Uh, I don't know what your situation is at home, if you're gonna use emergency power, um, or you got a, like a concession stand truck. But this would go in here, and then I would plug this in line with, this goes to my house, okay? Uh, I'm not actually going to run my house with this, but I just want to show you how these go together. I'm going to start the generator and just show you how the uh, the meters they'll power up automatically, and they do maintain the memory. So you'll show it'll show the uh, usage. So this generator here, so I'm going to turn the gas on. Okay, I always run this out of gas. Always, always, always. Empty carburetors can't get dirty. Okay, I'm gonna give it a second for the carburetor to fill up. I'm gonna pull the choke, and as soon as I start this, um, I'm gonna show you how these uh, these meters will power up. you can hear me over the generator so this is the, the top one one of the legs you'll see that I've already used uh, three kilowatt hours you see that on the right hand side you see on the left hand side the voltage is 121 volts 60 Hertz so it provides a lot of information on here and then this is the uh, the other leg and I've used 1.8 kilowatt hours so you can see where uh, one of the legs had more items attached to it versus the other leg a little bit as the carburetor empties. The meters, they come with uh, two uh, clamp-on uh, devices that go over the wire. Um, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to strip these down, okay? You need to access the, um, the white, black, and red, okay? Black is one leg, red is the other leg, and the uh, white is going to be the common. So you're going to go from, there's going to be two of the wires, it's, uh, there's instructions that come with these. Two of the wires are gonna get power to the white and the black, and the other two wires on this one's gonna go from the white to the red. Um, that's how each of the legs is monitored as far as voltage is concerned. And then the clamp-on, what's nice with these is that the uh, some of the devices that, that are sold um, don't have the clamp that is uh, um, capable of being opened. Um, so those have to go on a uh, the wire safe like from the beginning and then slid down so what's nice with these is that the the clamps can be um can be opened and uh and then up you know put over the wire so um i'll put the link in the uh description for this and then of course then you got the project box uh, and then each you know each of these ends you'll need the 30 amp twist locks you know the male part and the female part but um with this here, um, you can use this to monitor your usage. 
um, or you know to, to plan and um, set your system up so if you're running say like a concession stand you can monitor usage see how much room you have to add another device um, in your home you can set you know set up your home and say okay this is what I can use on each leg and, and this is how we're gonna do it okay thanks for watching